Hello once again, everybody! You may be thinking to yourself, didn't I already see this? And the answer is yes! Sort of! Because we're going to be doing a seasonal character this time. Uh, talked about it on Twitter and with a couple of friends and viewers that are, you know, watching my stuff regularly and... Basically, the idea is, if I'm going to be playing a character anyway, and I want to also be involved in the season, might as well just be the same character for the, uh, the game. The games! So, for if I'm going to make uh, YouTube videos, then I might as well just use the, the same character. That's what I'm getting at. So, same character, female crusader named Rivian. Oh yeah, yes, we accept. Now one thing I will do is turn down the music. I don't think it's that loud right now, but it will be. Let's turn it down to like, no, not that far, jeez. Uh, ten. Let's go to ten. Because apparently my last videos were a little too much. A little much as they say. Okay, uh, so I guess let's, well actually, hold on, I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I had to get myself a refill on my drink. Sorry about the chair squeak. Ugh. I really need to get a new chair, you know? Like you guys know, right? You have the same old chair and it's just, ugh. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to show, also from, you know, aside from my getting a drink, I did have a level 13 Barbarian, so fat. And uh, so I have a little bit of money and some loots, but pretty much everything else is going to be just whatever we happen to find. So let's see. We're not going to play on normal, but we're also not going to play on dormant. Uh, I think expert is going to be the best kind of... Um, the best option for difficulty versus um, not being able to make my own loot relatively quickly. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I think we're going to change to expert, private game, save and close, and start game. Let's go! Okay. The fallen star is close, but there is death, but there's here, death here too. Of course, there's death here. There's zombies everywhere. Goodbye. I love how they just pop out the, the health potions along this, this, like every single one of them does. Just in case, you know. Man, if I was on, uh, if I was on Master, I would have leveled by now. Greetings. A I am sad. Of the faith, and I saw a star. I saw a star. Yes, yes, we've seen all this. Let's go. That's correct. We've seen all this, so we're just gonna rush through. They're all dead. Moo ha ha. Moo ha ha. Die, all of you. Die. Wow, this is so much easier than <laughs> than playing on. Uh, I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Torment. Open the gates. Or even Master. My Barbarian's on Master level. And that's really fun, but I don't want to bore people with, like, really long fights and stuff. See, I have a little bit of money. I don't really plan on buying any gear unless it's, like, super crazy amazing gear. Which, it's not. None of these are. See, stuff like that would actually be tempting. Just because of the life regen. But... I'm not going to pay that much. But C4, it's only 600 gold. Shut up. Nobody cares. Give me my badass club. 6.6 .6 damage as, a core, as opposed to my 3. What now? I got some boots. Give me movement speed. Yeah, buddy. And these are the, the epic loots that I have so far found. Uh, a level 5 dagger of 14.5 damage. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's get the 
book. Yes, yes, yes. Nobody cares. Be right back, Leah. Get the book. Extra XP. Shut up, Leah. Talk to me, Leah. Nobody cares, Leah. Smash! Man, nothing like doing that to, to feel like a badass. Damn. Let's go! <laughs> so last time we talked about horror movies and stuff like that. But... We have come at last. I don't know if I have anything else to say about that, really. That episode actually just came out today. This morning. Oh, I'm going to go to the front. I forgot. I forgot what I was doing. Sorry. Burr, 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 burr. I did all this already. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Yep. There are more of them in the ruins. So, anyways, what are you guys up to? Ah, shit, you can't talk back to me. Damn it. That's a file. But yeah, I figured if I'm going to be doing a character and I want to play the character on a regular basis, it might as well be a season character because I want to participate in the season. Um, I don't really care so much about the... Uh, um, God, this is so much easier. Wow. I don't really care about uh, the leaderboards and rankings and all that. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about all that. But I do care about like the cool like transmog and some of the ex extra legendaries and stuff they're putting out. Stuff like that interests me just because um, I don't um, what was I saying? I don't want to uh, I don't want to miss out on stuff that I can't like not get again. You know? Like I'm, I'm a sucker for that shit. I know that they use that as, as ploys, like especially for like pre-orders and shit like that. I I have to. If it's something like if it's a game I'm interested in, I have to pre-order it just to get that stupid crap that probably isn't even worth it for the pre-order bonus. I'm such a sucker. But on the other hand, it's cool having that shit. Like oh, perfect example, Mass Effect. I love the Mass Effect series, and I got the. Um, Collector's edition of Mass Effect 3, like physical copy, so I'd actually have the cool like metal tin with male and fem chef on the uh, on the cover. Get back here, foo. Yeah. Gotcha. But I got the the cool you know like art book and all that crap. And uh, on top of it, I went and bought. Uh, not only did I I buy copies for my friends, but I bought the digital collector's edition copies for them. Uh, for... Gosh. I think like four people. I should probably wear this loot. For like four people, I, uh, I got copies for. And so that was like... Was it 60 or 70? I don't remember. Uh, but it was a lot. Good job, Naren! Radiance! Hey, chest. I like chests. Gold? Gold's good. Oh, that is. So, I spent, you know, an extra 300 bucks that way, easy, by just buying it for my friends. And then on top of that, I bought the uh, Mass Effect themed Razor uh, uh, the keyboard, the mouse, the the freaking mouse pad. I'm actually still using the keyboard and the mouse pad. Oh, the uh, the headset I'm using, the Razer Chimera uh, 5.1, like actual stereo surround in headset. It's fucking amazing. Um, I bought that Mass Effect themed. It's all brilliant. And all in all, I spent like a ridiculous amount of money on it. And I'll tell you what the real big kicker was, like the main reason I I spent that much on the peripherals from Razer. Not because I really like Razer products, although, I mean, they do have some nice things. Uh, some very buggy things, too. Like, I've had a, co a keyboard and like, the mouse I had from the Mass Effect thing stuff just didn't work properly. But 
Anyways, uh, they, they make good products some of the time. And, uh... I like to to Kondoras after 20 years. But, anyways, the main reason I did that was because for the Mass Effect multiplayer, which we were playing a bunch of, which is why I bought all the separate copies of, uh, shut up, of all the, the games for my friends, so we could play mass the uh, multiplayer, um, you got the collector's rifle, um, thing, and so, like, everyone that I bought, all the... the pieces that I bought gave me a code so it would level the, the actual gun up. And the gun itself is so horrible in multiplayer. It's bad. So I was really kind of disappointed in that. Die! So I was, I was very disappointed in the actual quality of the, of the gun. But uh, I, I totally spent probably two thousand dollars on just Mass Effect 3 alone. You know, what are you gonna do, right? Oh, somebody stole all the shit. I don't even have to be scared of you. Hey, don't be shooting shit at me. Wow, this is so easy. I just, I don't even have to hit and run. I just, I just come in and I smack him in the face. This is horrible. I think should turn the difficulty up. I actually can't turn it up in game, and that's stupid. Like, I really think you should. I think you should be able to turn it up. But, oh well. I sure as hell don't want to turn it back down. Movement speed versus experience. Let's go with the experience. Let's level fast. Let's get up there in the levels. Yes. Please stop blinking. I really appreciate you not blinking. It would be amazing if you would stop blinking. I like my skills the way they are. So we're going to tear through the story a lot faster like this, that's for sure. So anyways, I'm a sucker. That's why I'm doing the season stuff. Because I want the, uh, um, the transmog. And there's those cool like legendaries, like uh, especially the follower ones. That sounds cool. I want one of those to uh, give them I think it's uh, at least cooldown for their skills. Cool. Especially because I pretty much just doesn't everybody pretty much just use the Templar? I think with a uh, actually with this character maybe I'll go with one of the different ones. Maybe I'll do um, Dafu. Maybe I'll do the uh, Enchantress. I'm kind of interested in her story. I didn't really follow it too well. Uh, on my Witch Doctor playthrough. Whip Rack Club. Are you better? Oh, I have this. Which is not better. How in the world? Seriously. Such crap. It's bad when you're on such a low difficulty that you can just, like, let monsters beat on you and it's just like, oh, never mind, it's cool. The difficulty level switch is just insane. I may have to turn it up because I'm so used to it being more difficult than this. I don't want it to be boring for people though, that's the thing, right? Like, if I'm tearing through mobs, then maybe you'll be bored with just that. Like, the gameplay itself is not exciting. But if I'm sitting there and if I'm fighting a mob for like five minutes because I have to do hit and run tactics... I mean, I'm really good at it. I was like, oh, bram, you know, and then dodging and, and doing all kinds of, like, really good stuff, right? But I don't need to now. So, so disappointing. It was like, on the one hand, it's a long fight, but it's more skillful playing, right? Or so I delude myself. I think I said that wrong. Shut up. Nobody cares. Just avoid it. If you don't mention it, nobody else will. <sighs> but anyways, so uh oh, dead guy. They're everywhere, I swear. It's like you're in the middle of this like really like deep dungeon that like nobody's supposed to be in and it's like all of a sudden there's people everywhere. It's like what? Uh let's go get the book. Book two. I don't think it's there yet. It's not 
God damn it. Let me out of Leah's room. It's a Wish I had a charge. Not this one, but like an actual, like, you know, super speed. My witch doctor, that's a problem. Uh, my witch doctor uh, has... Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, uh, increased run speed. My witch doctor has increased run speed because of the pets I have out. It's the passive that I picked. And holy crap, 20% run speed everywhere is amazing. So playing new characters is always like... Oh my god, I'm so slow. Alright, so I got that on. That'll give me more XP's. And that's dexterity, but it's a helmet. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I still ain't got no pants. Ooh, three laps per second. Let's do that one. Hell yeah. Oh, there's some pants. We should probably wear those pants. I used to have default, like, just equip items automatically thing on, but... I don't really do that anymore. I don't think I can actually destroy that one. I'm saving my loots I've until I unlock the blacksmith. For you to take a look at. So that I can uh, break them down. So I have the, the mats to start making my own stuff. Here, let me open the gate. Open a gate, Leah. Come on. We ain't got all day. Oh, level six, huh? I think that's when my. Really? You're just gonna go off on your own, huh? Idiot. You're an idiot, Leah. Without me, you'd be dead. Don't you know I'm a Nephilim? Spoilers. I'm a Nephilim. Whatever that actually means. All right, let's get back, and I think, I believe at level six you can wear the rings. Yes, I got me some damage increase rings, two to four, and uh, I mean the the health globe part I don't care about, but the damage huge, which is one of the reasons why I was able to actually uh, continue uh, playing on a harder difficulty on my barbarian. I don't know, though. I may keep it expert. It really kind of depends on what loot I get. If I get lucky with loot, then, you know, I have a good chance of, of being able to take a harder difficulty, but if not, then bleh. It takes forever. I die a lot. We gotta get cocky so I can die again. Yeah, buddy. Hey, look, it's your mom's house. Why does your mom's house, like, just a little tiny shack? Like, honestly, this is this is a crappy house. There's not even a bed. There's no kitchen. So, I mean, honestly, your your mom lived in a shed. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's, you know, probably not healthy. Oh, well, those guys are gone. On my barbarian, this guy, I was playing on Master, and this guy did those, the, the ice summons. Holy crap, hurt so bad. I died like three times. Which is probably why I'm not gonna do... Uh, it's lower damage. I mean, that's just... I can't. It's lower damage. I want to because it's flail, but it's lower damage. Sorry, I can't do it. Break all the things, as is my prerogative. Yo, Leah. Here's the Talk to me. Araku. I don't really care I about this. I what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Shut up. Nobody actually cares about the story. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, people, I imagine, want to see me play through the campaign, and uh, Marin was all like, oh, you should, you should do adventures. They're, like, so much faster for leveling. It's amazing. And I'm like, yeah, but, 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 like, I don't want to level too fast and not do the story, because then it's, you know, people want to see the story. He's like, well, sure. I mean, just, I don't know if I'd really enjoy just having a series where it's like, I'm max level, let me go and see if I can find better loot, you know? Like, this, the progression is what matters. You want to see me have challenge and fight. 
fight is over. Or at least I imagine you do. You of the indeterminate people. It might be man or woman or whatever. A mixture of in between. That's fine. You know, be you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so. Yeah. Cathedral. Fallen star lies Stop! <laughs> we would already be in episode two if this was on uh, Torment. Matter of fact, probably getting to uh, episode three. No, no, it was episode two because I was trying to do uh, my pain before I ended that episode. I did not. God, I look so crappy. Like, look at my outfit, it's horrible. The other outfit made me look like Saber from Fate Stay Night. Or Fate Zero. Both of which good animes. Speaking of animes, I heard something recently close. about... Um, I'm not gonna hit that. All the XP like this. Uh, I heard from Krynus about uh, apparently people with, with anime avatars are being generalized as all like douchebags or something. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Apparently it's a big generalization. You know, people that have anime avatars on Twitter are generally the uh, like douchebags that are rude to women and something along those lines. It's like just because a bunch of douchebags on Twitter have av anime avatars does not mean everyone who has an anime avatar as a douchebag? I mean, it's possible that they are, but it's it doesn't mean that they have to be. Aha! Healing wells, by the way. Seasonal healing wells? Playing on master or higher difficulty? I found out what good they are. Because in the, you know, original game, I pretty much already had a good basis. Uh, like, once you get the blacksmith and some money, you're, you're pretty much good to go. And so... Shut up, dude! Nobody cares. Yes, Leoric is an asshole. We get it! Thank you! Alright, let's go this way. I never know which way to go. I hate it. Anyways, um... So, what was I saying? Something about, uh, anime and assholes? Anime and assholes. That's going to be the title of the episode. No, it's not. Oh, goodness gracious. I would not name my episode that. So I apologize to anybody that uh, enjoyed the first three episodes of My Crusader that uh, wanted to see that one continue, but hopefully we'll build this one bigger and better. But anyways, uh, once we hit uh, probably around level 20 or so, and we have the blacksmith unlocked, I imagine this will get pretty easy and I might have to turn up the difficulty some. I don't even think I'm going to click that new lore button down there. Because why? Hey, alright. Life per hit. I really like that stuff. Because every time I hit, it gives me life. Which is why it's called life per hit. In case you didn't know. Hey, you're about to die. Sucks to be you. Sorry. Stuff to break. Oh, I missed. Give me a thing. Yay, objects. Eight's not bad. I find it's easier to do the, the breaking bonus with range. Melee characters kind of get boned on that. Hello! New event. Expect the cursed shrine. All right. I, I will just as soon as I, I find it. It's not even on my map. Yep. There it is. There it is. It's cursed. Oh no! 
Defeat the waves. Okay. This should be easy. Get any new skills? Yay! This, this is ridiculously easier than before. Oh man. My wrath is low. Oh, my wrath is low. Yay! Success. Oh, what was that? Fleeting. Oh, sweet. I love moving faster. Time ran out. I only cleared three waves. Crimey River. I suppose if I'd seen that, I might have tried harder to kill them faster. Oops. I was too busy looking at my skills. That's my bad, guys. I think we're going to end the episode here, and then I will continue on episode two momentarily. Thank you for watching! And I'll see you next time.